Hi, I'm Steve Jones and I'm going to try and tell you how much the Earth weighs. Well, this is a real problem, but of course we know some rough ideas of size and I'm using a radius of 5,000 kilometres or 5 times 10 to the power 6 metres is the actual uh, radius of the Earth. 10 to the 6th is a million, so 5 million metres. So when we're starting with a number like that, and then we're going to multiply it by itself twice, we have to use these powers of 10, 5 times 10 to the 6th. So let's look at the actual volume of this sphere, because if we can find the volume of the sphere, then we can use a density equation to find the mass. And I'm giving it a density of 8 kilograms per cubic metre. It might be, sorry, 8,000 kilograms per cubic metre. It might be 5,000. doesn't really matter. It's the method that we're doing. So first of all, let's look at the volume of the sphere. 4 thirds pi r cubed. Well, pi and 3 are near enough the same. So it's 4 times the radius, which is 5 times 10 to the 6, all of that cubed. Now, well, that's not too difficult to work out. 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. So it's 4 times 125 times 10 to the power, well, to multiply 10 to the 6th by itself, it becomes 10 to the 12th, and again 10 to the power 18. That's 1 with 18 zeros. It's getting to be a quite big number. So this is, checking it, this is meters cubed. So that is the number of cubic meters. Now, let's have a look at the density. We know that each of these is 8,000 kilograms. So, the mass is therefore the volume, this that we've just worked out. Well, 4 times 125 is 500. That's nice and easy, isn't it? So, it's 500 multiplied by 10 to the power 18, so that's the volume, and we'll multiply it by the density, which is 8,000. And this will be in kilograms. That's quite a lot of kilograms. If you want it in tons, we can divide by 1,000 later. So if we get rid of some of these noughts, we've got 10 to the power 18, and we've got 1, 2, 3 for five noughts. So it's 10 to the power 23 and 5 eighths of 40. So 40 times 10 to the 23, which is 4 times 10 to the power 24 kilograms. Okay, now if we're going to draw 10 to the 24, well we've got 3 6, 9, 12. 3, 6, 9, 12. Well, that's, times to, that's 10 to the power 24. There you are. And it's 4. It's that number of kilograms is the mass of the Earth. So, if we want to measure the mass of the Earth, we should, first of all, establish exactly what the density is. I'm not sure it's exactly 8,000, but somewhere around there. Know exactly the radius of the Earth. And using the calculation I've shown you, you can work out that it is this huge number of kilograms. That is how to weigh the earth.